I had such a fantastic life before I had my children. Be I, and I got married, I was 37, nearly 38 when I got married, and I was 40 before I had the kids. And I had the most fantastic time. I was a child until that time, you know, I, I really wasn't that age. In my, in my mind, I was 17. And then I gave birth, and my life changed, and <laughs> has changed to this day. And, and I lost everything, I lost all that freedom, I lost my independence, because although I'm married, I wasn't independent anymore. I, could, mm. I can't now, to this day, I can't say, come on, Steve, let's go and have a holiday. And, and I can't go out of a night unless I've organised a babysitter. Mm. It's doing and that spur of the moment thing, isn't it? You lose spontaneity. Yeah. You can't think, oh, actually, I'm, I'm fed up with my life. I think I'll go travelling for three months, you know, which I did before I had kids, you know, off to yeah. Thailand and Hong Kong. That's it. I did all the stuff that I wanted to do, but I, do, I still miss it. Oh. Yeah. I really yeah. miss it. And it's the little things as well. Like, I, I miss reading a book, you know, when yeah. I want to. Just sitting on a couch and, and being able to read a book or watching a film. I don't think I've read film. a book since I had kids, actually. Really? Yeah. <laughs> so. it's, it's, it says, and a line. A line I miss, you know, a Sunday morning yeah. lazy line. It just, it's mm. out the window, isn't it, really? Yeah. I remember, um, it is funny how times have changed because when my son is nearly 25 now, so we are going back really a generation as such. And the idea then was that you have a baby and that baby comes into your life. Yeah. You don't change your life for that. They're adapting it, it's an extension of your life. And I thought that made an awful lot of sense. And I have to say, that's how I did it. Oh, wow. He was an extension of my life. So wherever I went, he came with me. When I was working, he came with me. He was in the back of the car. Really? His first word was car. And then it was, <laughs> then it was Ford, Rover, this, that, that. He knew all the models of cars, but didn't know the alphabet. I mean, it was like one of those things. That's the kind of job where you could take your child to work. Most that's true, that exactly. But even so, it, it, when it came to the evening, when you talk about babysitting and this, that and the other, it was like the baby comes with yeah. me yeah. and it was very good as well because then the noise there wasn't anything about the noise you know some people like tiptoe around yeah. and everything all the noise the clattering and this that and the other he became a terribly as a result all the children actually in fact have become terribly adaptable and they just cope. When my first child was tiny and he was a baby, we used to take him everywhere. I and mean, I took him to a fashion show and breastfed him in the, you know, in the, in the fashion show. Nobody minds because they're all lovers there. But we also used to take him to the pub in the <laughs> evening, you know, and stick him in the cot under the table. Perfect. I know, I mean, people probably worry about passive smoking, but my husband smoked at home anyway. Yeah. <laughs> oh, it's getting difference. too precious, isn't it? Yeah. I don't believe that you should like expose some pollutants and stuff like that. But I mean, they, it's a real world we live in. We can't sort of you know, wrap them in cotton wool, can we? No, and I think you're right. I think if you take babies out, like you did with yours, if you take them out from the early days and they get used to different environments and different people around them all the time, I think you make a mistake. Some parents make a mistake from cosseting their child yes. so yeah. much, keeping them at home, not introducing them to other children, oh, to yes, other people. Socially inept, don't yeah. They? Yeah. And yeah. also, I noticed when my kids had friends to stay the night, an awful lot wouldn't because it was like, oh no, like this, or they would say yes, and then sort of like it turned to go, oh, oh my mummy, oh, yeah. and then you'd have to drive them home in the middle of the night and everything. My kids, it was like stay the night, they were fine, mm. so they didn't mind. They were used to different environments. Mm. They never felt sort of, oh, my, the only place I can sleep is in my bed. So are you saying Ingrid, you, there's not much of your old life that you'd miss, you know, since you've had your kids? Is that is yeah? That what I get? think I am effectively yeah. saying that because I've kind of made it work for me. So I yeah. did sort of. Um, take heed of that kind of advice. Well, they're coming into your life. Yeah. And it wasn't being selfish, it was actually making it work. Yeah. I didn't want to resent having children. Yeah, yeah. And I think a yeah, lot of people do. Yeah. It's like my whole life has changed, it's taken away. Yeah. I've got no independence anymore. And they start to resent that. I have no resentment yeah. at all. Yeah. I have a bit. Do I you? Do a bit. Yeah. I love my kids so much that I'd die for them, as any parent would. But I do miss it, I really do. I loved my life before the children. But can you not have elements of that? I mean, you know. Yeah, I can now that they're a bit older, yeah. but I think when they're, when they're sort of in their first years, their primary years, before they go to primary school, um, they are so reliant on you and you need to be there mm. with them, you know. And I, and I, I do think that you, you miss out a lot. You, you forsake, you give up so much, what I did anyway. Mm. I, did you I anticipate that? I mean, when you decided to start a family, did you think, well, it, what it, and you had such a, I mean, your career was like so happening. I mean, did you think, well, actually, it is going to have that effect on my career? And you, did you factor that in or did? Yeah, that's why I left it so late. 
Uh, um, apart from the fact that I hadn't found a husband. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but um, but I, did, I did leave it late purposely because I wanted to do all that stuff, yeah. first of all. And I thought, now's the time. I've, I've travelled the world. I've, I've been on top of the pops and I've won the Eurovision yeah. Song Contest <laughs> and I've presented yeah. record breakers and I've done all these lovely things. And I thought, now I can settle down, but I still missed it. I, I think you, I, personally, I went in with rose-coloured glasses, thinking, yeah. like you said, Ingrid, oh, the baby will fit into my life, and la di da and it'll all be, it'll make everything better. I didn't anticipate that certain things can't, well, for me, I, either I wasn't willing to or I couldn't fit them in. And, and therefore, I began you know, to miss elements of the old life. And, mm. and the key one for me, I missed my hubby, and he was always there with me. And I remember yeah. crawling into bed some nights, you know, exhausted off my brain and just saying, I miss you. And I think Aww. he thought, what are you on about, you crazy woman? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. But what it's I meant was... It's in body yeah. and spirit, though, isn't it? You're yeah. there in body, but in spirit, it's a... Yeah, I miss that, that yeah. connection that we had, because we were together for about... Oh, Ten years before yeah. before our kids came along, and we wanted our kids desperately. And as you say, sure, you know you love them, but I just missed that closeness mm. that we had because all of a sudden someone else had taken that closeness. And also, what about the husbands though? Yeah, because they do definitely. take second place yeah. in actual fact. And well, I think a lot yeah. of men find that very hard. Yes, they yeah. do. Yeah. They, they really know. Well, it. especially after ten years. I mean, yeah. it's even harder then because they've got used to to being the one and only. Mm. Well, except I mean, I, I think I would probably speak for him and say I think he would have missed the old me because I went from being. You know, this relaxed, happy, you know, let's do da 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 to, ah, it's a bottle of formula. I can't give it to her. You know, and I, I really changed, and I think that there was a lot of, I think there was a lot of, to, you know, him scratching his head going, so where'd she go? I kind of liked her. And, but I, and I, I kind of think also, I mean, yeah, there are things you miss about your old life, but I, there's lots of things I don't miss, and I kind of, you know, I, all throughout my 20s, I had a lovely time, great career, worked, went out, parted, but it becomes a bit Groundhog yeah. Day, doesn't it? And you kind of think, well, what's next and what am I doing with my life and where's it going? And I do think having children kind of grounds you, it gives you a sense of this, this is why you're in the world. And in it's a, a discipline way. in a funny sort of way because you could actually, I could spiral out of control. I mean, I really <laughs> could, you know, like there is, I don't know the stop button yeah. sort of thing. <laughs> But it does, it starts to bring that forward. It's like, I've got to get up early in the morning, take the children to school. Yeah, yeah. So therefore, I won't party till five o'clock yeah. or perhaps not even yeah. get back. I mean, it just yeah, draws you children. in, yeah. actually. So yeah. it is actually, it's quite nice to have yeah. those constraints. It's the raining in a little bit. It makes you grow up. Yeah. It yeah. does make you grow up. But, but I, you know you what I do? Early mornings. That's what I miss most of all. I miss having the, the lions. lions. Yeah, and me me too. Oh, but I love having my boys come and have a cuddle with me. Oh, that's all right. But it's kind of like it's men. not. <laughs> yes, quite. Yes, yeah, sort of like let's not have this sort of like this sleep interrupted thing. My sister used to ring up and and at half past nine in the morning. She's been up since you know the cock crowed. And I, and I go, Sheila, it's not even 10 o'clock. You know, this was this was pre-babies. Yeah, yeah. And did she yeah. have oh, children yeah. though? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, now, yes. now she can ring me at half past six and I'm up, you know, so... The stupid yes. thing is, I, I'd actually more or less got through the stage of them waking me up in the morning because they now have, know how to operate PlayStation themselves, so they get up and they entertain themselves from now and half. Then I got a puppy. I mean, how stupid is that? <laughs> so the boys wake up, the minute the puppy hears the boys are awake, it's yep, 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 yep. Oh, <laughs> Back no. to early mornings again. Oh, you didn't miss your Self-inflicted or what, you know. <laughs> 